Hey, Saw, uh, thanks for doing this. Could you just describe what it's like coming off a tough loss like that yesterday and then having to turn around so quickly and, and get ready for a game? Um, I mean, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't uh, hard, you know, because um, the hard thing is just reflecting back on uh, the game we had yesterday. But, like, at the same time, we have a short week, so we got to be able to get our minds right, you know, for the game on Thursday where, you know, what just happened is going to just eat us alive the whole week. So, you know, it's pretty hard, but, you know, we got to be mature adults and we got to just focus on Jacksonville. <clears throat> So have you started doing that? Have you started uh, looking at their film? You know, what can you say, say about what you see from them? Uh, yeah, I started uh, today. You know, they're pretty, they have a pretty good offense. You know, uh, they have a pretty good receiving, receiver group, you know, good quarterback as well, and, uh, Trevor Lawrence. You know, so, you know, they, they have a lot of good things going on on the offense side of the ball. You know, I don't really know what defense they got or special teams, but you know, just speaking for their offense, you know, they have a pretty good offense. It looked like you were not targeted yesterday, maybe once, um, you know, it looked like, um, is that, what do you, what was your number? Was it one or what do you think it was? And do you think teams are just avoiding you now? Uh, on yesterday, I wasn't targeted yesterday. Um, not once, but you know, I don't know what their what their mentality is or mindset is, you know, when when they go up against us. But, you know, yesterday I wasn't targeted. And, you know, I, I, I took that kind of personal because I actually wanted to make uh I wanted to make a bigger and a better impact on the game, you know, especially it uh, you know, going against my hometown team. You know, I know you guys were asking me throughout the week if it was personal. And I was really saying it wasn't, but like the day before the game, you know, when I had people from my hometown calling me and stuff like that, you know, that kind of made it kind of personal. So, you know, I was just saying like, I was going to get my first pick six against the Lions. I was going to do this. I was going to do that. Uh, but I didn't get targeted. So I really didn't have the opportunity. But I just wish we could have got that dub yesterday. Awesome. But isn't that isn't that like the ultimate sign of respect for especially a cornerback when you're not targeted? So you're talking about like wishing you can make an impact, but you you kind of did if they're not even throwing to your side. Uh, uh yeah, definitely. You know, it is a, a huge sign of respect. But I was just saying that because, you know, if I catch the ball and I get a pick six, you know, I could, you know, help my team, uh, you know, put some points on the board or just be able to catch an interception or just flip the field, you know, some. Something to get us some points. You actually bring up a good point there because I think the defense has gone, I want to say, three straight games without a takeaway. It, you had a bunch early in the year. What's been happening the last few weeks? Man, I can't even call it, really. Um, you know, it's one thing that we definitely talk about. You know, we keep harping, harping on it, you know, every week. I don't know what, what happened. You know, I know our communication got a lot better. Everything's got a lot better. So, you know, I'm not sure why the takeaways then, then went down. You know, and uh, we've been talking about not only getting takeaways, but, you know, scoring when we do get the takeaways. That's why I was saying uh, I wish I could have got a pick six or something like that because that's something that not only me, but the our whole defense, we, we harping about, you know, getting a takeaway and scoring. You know what I mean? So, you know, I don't know what's been happening <clears throat> with the takeaways, but – I know um, our whole secondary is getting closer and closer. Our whole defense is getting closer and closer. You know, we love playing with each other. You know, we fly around on the field. But we definitely do need to start getting uh, more takeaways for sure. Hey, Sauce, um, Robert Sala was on with us earlier, and he took uh, accountability uh, for making uh, a mistake with timeouts on that <laughs> final drive. And I'm curious, as a player, when you're head coach, takes public responsibility for a mistake. What do you think that says about his leadership and what kind of impact do you think it has on players in the locker room? Um, you know, it have a huge uh, impact on us. You know, um, he's not just like a coach, you know, and I feel like that's one uh, big thing about this organization. It's like family. So, 
you know, what he do, we all watch it. You know, it's not just a, a veteran player that, you know, all the other players watch. You know, we watch the way that Coach Solid carry himself. And, you know, being able to take responsibility, um, you know, in the public, you know, that's big right there because most head coaches, they just kind of cover their behind for something. But the fact that he could do something like that, you know, that showed that he's, you know, a great leader for sure.